Hello les gagnants, the Welsh hitter here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide, and this time we are getting it all in Deep Space Anomaly. This was developed by Dream Games, or by their abbreviation, which is Dreamgums, uh, published by Desert Water Games, and at the time of recording has no price, but in my brain, I can just picture $4.99, but if I get it wrong, then I'm sorry. So this is a twin stick shooter, by that I mean we move with the left stick, aim with the right stick, and shoot with both the right trigger and the left trigger. So if you enjoy these types of games, then this is a lot of fun. It's challenging without it being too much where you're throwing your controller at your significant other's head, and of course the achievements are easy to boot as well. So we basically have to get to wave 6 to encounter a certain type of enemy called the Golden Hooks. Uh, basically, you'll get achievements for beating the first three waves, then for beating up the six spaceship bombs, six twin thorns, and six golden hooks. I'll just go through with advice on what guns best to buy in order to try and get through this quickly. So all in all, depending on your skill level, really, and if you enjoy, like I said, these types of games, you're looking at about maybe 10 to 15 to 20 minutes or so, maybe longer, maybe a bit less. For me, personally, it took around 20 minutes, and I suck at these games, so you should do fair just fair. So without further ado, let this, let's get this omelette party cracking. So you got, are going to press the start button here, press play, and then what it'll do is bring you up to the shop. Of course, we can't um, play anything straight away, buy anything straight away. Uh, so just press the white button to move on, and then you again, move with the right stick, and then press the right trigger to aim. And all we're going to do is shoot a first couple of enemies here, and that's going to get us two achievements for entering the arena and for completing wave one. And uh, before we start wave two, obviously what you can see then is the shop. So obviously we don't have enough money at the minute. Um, if you do end up dying in a wave, you'll just start from that wave from the beginning. Um, but obviously we can buy loads of guns and obviously health and armor, uh, things like that. So of course what um, I would always end up doing is just getting uh, as much health sort of as possible and with the guns... Um, now, the best one that I went for was the lasers and ended up using the flamethrower. The flamethrower worked wonders for me, personally. Um, just it sliced through enemies, especially with the golden hooks on wave 6. So if you're struggling on wave 4 and 5, like, it did take me a couple of attempts there, um, uh, the, the flamethrower will be a best friend. But, of course, what you're supposed to do is just not stop moving. And I know it's hard, <laughs> I know it's easier said than done, but obviously, if you, if you, if you stop moving, you're going to get beaten pretty badly. So, like I said, um, whichever is the best way that you play, I prefer to get uh, quite a lot of uh, armor, get a little bit of speed, more accuracy. I uh, ended up completely filling up the accuracy and, again, getting a lot of health pickups. You can see at the top, you see at the top of the screen there, um, that is where w whatever sort of weapons you buy, that is what will fill up the slots. And then you press the right bumper and left bumper. Uh, in order to fill up those slots. So pressing the right trigger will shoot the gun, of course, and the left trigger will shoot the rocket launcher as well. Sorry, it's taken me almost three minutes to let you know that. Uh, but <laughs> So you can literally just keep spamming the left trigger and the right trigger at the same time, as well as moving, as well as aiming. So if you're, <laughs> if you're that skilled and talented, then it, it should come naturally. If you're a gamer, which we all are, that will come naturally for you. Uh, now, of course, I'm not going to show you the whole waves because you're literally just... Just going through it, avoiding what you can. But when you have finished that third wave, that will get you that achievement. Uh, so when you start getting enough money, um, and you should, especially if you, even if you die a couple of times, you'll still keep uh, collecting money. Uh, so I ended up buying the laser first. Now again, to go over to it, you need to press the right bumper and go nuts. Now on wave four. So wave four is the first of the two enemies. It's It's kind of hard to tell which ones they are. But um, the Twin Thorns and the Spaceship Bombs appear on this level. As you can see where it says Total Destroyed there. The sort of eye, the red eye with a bunch of spikes looking at it, it kind of looks like an angry steroid version Sauron. They're the Spaceship Bombs, so we need to beat six of those. And the Twin Thorns, uh, once we get destroyed here, you'll be able to see on screen, are the Thorns on the right-hand side there. Um, they just got... It, they just look like things with spikes coming out of them. Uh, so basically, we need to sh kill and shoot six of those once we have done. Which, to be honest, like I said, I ended up dying quite a few times on wave four and five. It sort of just upped. It's <laughs> the first three waves were okay, and then it sort of just upped the ante a bit for wave four and wave five. So that is why, if you are struggling, like I said, you can either buy the shield, which... Um, it's not bad, but first of all, you only get eight seconds of shield time, and then uh, 
yeah, it's 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 not brilliant. I just pretty much go out all on the offensive. Um, I bought the shield, but I never really used it. So, again, what I highly advise is to buy the flamethrower, if you can, and slice through them. I ended up buying the laser and the long laser, and they were okay. But, again, the cooldown times, if you didn't put money into it, are not that brilliant. So, I ended up buying the flamethrower, and that worked wonders for me. So, when we get to wave 6, finally, we will see the golden hooks. Uh, they... These ones are a lot more obvious um, than the... There they are, look. So they're gold and they look like hooks. So they look a lot a lot more a lot more obvious than the spaceship bombs and the twin thorns. But once we get to level 6, they only appear on wave 6. So that is what we are doing. So we're obviously going to keep using the rocket launcher with the left trigger. And we are going to use the flamethrower. Obviously, uh, if you're on a cooldown period, use other guns until you can get the flamethrower back out. Uh, otherwise, that's pretty much it so like i said this did take me around 20 minutes purely for uh wave four and five um which was just a bit of a pain for me like i said i'm not fantastic at these games so that's why it went kind of sucky but otherwise this should like i said take you between 10 20 maybe even half an hour but that will be that then guys and gals so there we go we beat the angry steroided sauron we beat the prickly thorns and we beat the hooks that look like golden hooks because they're called golden hooks. So thank you so, so much for watching. There's your 10 out of 10. Um, a big shout out to everyone who continues to support the uh, channel on Patreon. If you like the guide, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share with a friend as well. And I'll see you in the next one. Big lovings. <laughs>